Okay, we're doing something a bit different today. We're going to do some restoring of figures as opposed to just repainting them. So I just got off eBay some chips figures, and these were made by Mego uh, in the early 80s. Um, I remember these figures fondly. Uh, this one is Sarge. So this is Robert Pine, who is Chris Pine's dad in real life. Uh, he was the sergeant in the California Highway Patrol. Uh, this was always a difficult figure to get in the UK because we seem to import John and Punch, but not Sarge. So this guy's his O-ring has snapped, so he's uh, he's gone to pieces on the job. And then also included with it was one of the villain figures. So they Mego knocked up some very very generic villains um, with with silly. I think this guy's name is Jimmy Squeaks or something. And they just used bits they had. So it's the Star Trek motion picture legs. Um, I think it was Roscoe or someone like that. Uh, not Roscoe, um, Superman or someone's arm was used on Roscoe Coltrane in the Dukes of Hazard. A very generic face. It's quite nicely detailed, but very, very generic. But his head's come off, so I'm going to find some way of getting that stuck back on. And this is the Sajiga. These were probably the pinnacle of the sculpts that Migo did just before they went bust. Uh, this figure requires almost total repainting once his o-ring has been fixed. So the first thing we're going to do is just take them apart. Um, hope that the screws are not rusted solid in it. The good thing about these Migos is you can unscrew them. Oh, it is a bit rusty right now. So the screws come out when they come apart. Can't even see an o-ring in there. Oh, there it is. It's, oh, it's, it's gone rancid. So it's just a little o-ring that holds them together. Um, so I'm going to fix that. But also I need to repaint it. I think it needs a wash to start with. I wonder if someone's tried repainting them already because there's black paint all above the boot, which there shouldn't be. So I'm going to go and wash these and we'll come back and we'll see what we can do paint wise. Okay, so I washed and cleaned up all the figures. Uh, so what I'm going to do, like the boots, I'm going to mask and spray paint because I want them to be really nice and glossy, not show any brush marks. So I've just used sort of detail Tamiya masking tape. Um, the belts I'm just hand painting. Same with the gun holster, I'll need a couple of coats. Um, I noticed that one arm has actually been glued solid. I'm not too worried about that. I think it would probably break it to try and get the glue off. I appear to have used epoxy, but I'll give it a go. And then the watch will need painting. And um, the hardest part is going to be to match this, this sort of khaki color. So I'll have to have a look and see what I can do about that one. But what I'm going to do is spray the boots uh, paint some other stuff and then we'll come back and we'll paint the face uh, not the face but the hair I'm not going to do the face on this one because I want to make it sort of like a almost a, how it was as a figure and then also on the helmet there was a blue circle so I need to look at that and see how I can do that one Okay, so I've mixed up some orange for his hair. There we go. And he has white highlights on it. I'll do that when it's dry. Okay, so I sprayed the boots. I'm just going to take the mask off, see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. 
the I was looking on the, online and um, it seems to be all of them because they were sprayed in the factory all of the figures you can see even carded ones the top of the or the bottom of the trousers are covered in black paint so I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna try and clean it out because that's what they all seem to be like okay so everything's sort of dry so paint his hair and his white stripes and there was a little bit of overflow onto his ear which I will now just scrape off there we go so I think we've all got them back together I haven't got any o-rings but I do have some elastic bands so I'm just going to double them up I hope that will work. Mm, quite loose. Okay, let me see if I can sign it up and we'll come back. Okay, so that was quite a chore to get that elastic band on. I might send off for some uh, proper O-rings, but otherwise he's come out quite well, I think. You can see him there. So his legs are a little bit loose, so I might put some, take them apart, put some PTFE tape in that just straightens them out. He is missing a thumb, which I might try and do something about. It might just be that he injured himself on duty. Um, let's see what the pressure on it. So I just masked it off. So that will fit on him. So pretty good. Um, Jimmy Squeaks is just gluing at the moment. So what I did was drill out the neck, put a Lego a uh, piece in there and then in the Jimmy's head drilled out the neck and then stuck a Lego tube in there so that will just slot in there once it's dry and that will mean he's got a movable head so yeah so I think that was pretty good so I got these really cheaply on eBay um, I might look out for some others and it just shows you how you can put them back together make them very presentable if you want to so that's Sarge. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to see more um, restorations, I also did, I don't know if you're interested, did a Maximilian from the Black Hole. So I had to make him a whole new arm because he was missing an arm. Um, I need to get one of those chrome pens though for that so it matches. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of these restoration videos, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. And if uh, you can like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.